Hello, comic book community. Lombox Love Affair here. The day has finally come. I have put this video together for, from this massive estate sale that I found. So I'm going to give a quick overview of, of what this was, how I found it, and then I'm going to show the books. Um, and I'm just going to show the books in rapid fire because I have 163 comic books to get through. Mostly Bronze Age, some Copper, and then a stack of Moderns. But mostly Bronze Age. So it's not often you find a collection uh, that has... Uh, this many great books. This probably it accounts for about my top two or three haul videos that I have, uh, haul, comic hauls that I've actually found. So if you're new to my channel uh, and checking out this video for the first time, uh, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up if you like what you see, and then feel free to comment down below. This is what happened. So I went up to visit my father for his birthday in western New York, and uh, my father's long-term partner she uh she she does antiquing she goes to antique sales she is part of that circuit and she sent me this link to an estate sale that was happening four minutes away four minutes away from where my father lives and i just couldn't pass it up i was going to be in town it was meant to be uh, there were uh, several boxes of comics shown in the picture as well as baseball cards figurines and other home ish home goods that they were trying to sell. It was someone's estate. Ironically enough, my dad knew the family, didn't know them well, but knew the family that, that had lived in that house. So there were a couple comics that piqued my interest because there were about 10 to 12 long boxes. And in the pictures, they showed a Doctor Strange number one from I think the 70s. They showed uh, Werewolf by Night 33, the second appearance of Moon Knight, uh, and then some other uh, random books that I could care less about. So I was like, with those older books in there, I was like, that gives me a hint that there might be something of quality that I want. So day of the sale, my dad and I get out there. It starts at nine o'clock, but you can start getting numbers at eight o'clock to be admitted at the, in, that, um, in that order. And given COVID precautions, they were only letting 10 people in the house at a time and then seeing how it went. So I did not want to be number 11. I wanted to be in there first. So I got there first, parked the car, and we waited because I was there before the number uh, numbers were handed out. And another car drove up and got a number before it was 8 o'clock. So I was like number 2, not number 1. I could have been number 1. Anyway, there were... A lot of people there and a lot of people there for comic books. Long story short, I ran down to that storage room in the basement and the guy ahead of me was doing the same thing and he just started looking in boxes. I started looking at boxes and other people came in. So I found some great stuff immediately, but I was trying to get my bearings, trying to figure it out. In the midst of all of that, I know I missed out on some keys. I know I missed out on some big books that this guy was picking up, which I was like, ooh, I found some big books too. But there's always this FOMO, this what if that, you know, if I got there first or if I was the only one looking at this collection, if would I have been able to find that book or, or, or did he have other books in there? Um, so, for instance, I knew he had a werewolf by night 33. Did he have a 32, the first appearance of Moon Knight? I don't know because I did not find that. So... Without further ado, I'm going to show these books. Uh, I'm going to start with the older books. I'm going to end with the modern books. And at the end, I'm going to tell you how much I paid for everything. So um, you can let me know if it was a good deal. Before I, before I do uh, jump into the books, the pricing was a little interesting. And I just started looking for books. I didn't even know what the prices were. The pricing was uh, right, up, right up here. So it was $10 a book for anything that was really old. So 10 cents or 12 cent comics. This is an interesting way to price it because assuming that every old book is worth something, which is not always the case. So you have to really pick and choose. It was $8 for anything that was originally 15 cents or 20 cents. Um, and again, this is going off the original price. So if it was a 15 cent book, they were gonna charge me $8. Uh, $3 they were gonna charge me for anything that was originally 25 cents, 50 cents or 75 cents and then Anything modern, anything above 75 cents was going to be $2. Now, day two, everything was going to be half off, but you just had to rely on that was going to still be there. Um, I did go back for day two. That is going to be a different video, so make sure you stay tuned. But for the time being, I'm going to show day one. These are the 163 comics I bought uh, for a variety of different prices. I'll tell you what that is at the end. And uh, here you go. Enjoy the haul.
All right, like I said, I'm going to go through these pretty quickly. These are the first books I found, um, the first appearance of the Defenders, the team appearance. Marvel feature number one, two, and three, but also picked up Defenders King Size Annual number one, Giant Size Defenders number one, number two, number three, first appearance of Korvac, good one to have, number four. And I should say almost everything I bought was in at least mid-grade, if not higher. Um, and number five, those are giant size Defenders. Also picked up Defenders number one, two, number three, four, five. This guy had like near complete runs of, of books of, or complete runs. Six, I could have gotten all the Defenders. Seven, eight, nine. And these are books I've never owned before. So it's kind of cool to have them in the collection. I'm not sure which I will be keeping or which I might be offloading, um, but for the time being, everything is staying. Um, and uh, I actually might read a good chunk of, of these books. Um, so I picked up one through 12, plus I also picked up 17 and 18, which was first Wrecking Crew. And then uh, Spider-Man, Giant Size, Master of Kung Fu. My big regret with this haul is there was a full run of Shang-Chi, including, I think, two copies of his first appearance, which the guy ahead of me got right before me. I saw him pull those, and I was groaning. Just couldn't believe it. So next up, a bunch of Marvel Spotlight. Marvel Spotlight number two, the first appearance of Werewolf by Night. I'm surprised there was not a number one, um, but th there was a spotty... Uh, some spotty series, and this guy was obviously collecting during this time period. Uh, this was this book got really hot in Marvel Spotlight Four, um, with uh, its tie into the Darkhold and with WandaVision. No Ghost Rider number uh, Spotlight number five or six or seven, but we got number eight, nine. It makes me wonder if he actually had it or and someone picked it up before I got to it or not. But why would they leave the other ones behind? 11. And I saw a lot of people doing Key Collector app, and I think they're looking at the numbers that are spotlighted in that and, and just picking those, which sometimes is good, but sometimes you're missing out. But they did not pick up this one, so I don't think the first Ghost Rider was there. So at this Son of Satan, uh, not his first appearance necessarily, but his first solo going on there. 13, Marvel Spotlight 14. And 15 and 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. I've been really into these Marvel Spotlight books, uh, just uh, the premieres of, of various characters. Really psyched to find this one Marvel Spotlight 28. Moon Knight's first solo uh, uh, story uh, in 29. I forgot that was in here. I uh, also found this one here, just sitting, Marvel Premiere, 28. Now keep in mind, I went through this box, I think after someone else did, and they didn't pick any of these up. Marvel 2 and 1, this was there. Werewolf by Night 33, uh, the um, second appearance. I did not pick up the third. I think I missed that in there, but I think it was there. I did not see 32. I wish it was there. That would have been the money book. Tomb of Dracula, 44. Cameo of, cameo of Deacon Frost, I believe. Uh, and then we have a whole bunch of Werewolf by Nights. So uh, number two, two copies of that. It was unusual for this haul. Three, four, a lot of uh, horror-based uh, comics. Um, Missing issue six, but it had seven, then it jumps to 10. Um, there weren't many X-Men. There were not many Sp Spider-Man at all, but these like non-traditional heroes were in it. Just kind of cool 80s uh, Plug covers there. You got Dracula, number 16. We have some Red Sonia going on. Marvel Feature presents number one and number four with her. And then also some of her series. Uh, number one, two, three, 
three, four. Oh, and here's another marvel feature, seven, uh, with Conan. Uh, and given the news recently with Red Sonia, um, those books should be popping. Also picked up the full run of Iron Fist. Number one, two, three, four. Oops, I have to rebag. I have to board these, but these have been taken care of. I mean, it's, it was a great collection. This person cared for his comics. Um, some are not the best condition, but there's none that are complete beaters, which is helpful. This one has a bunch of spine ticks, for instance. 10, 11, 12. And this is when I was finding these. I, I looked, I saw they had issue one. I looked quickly to the back and they had um, issue 14 and issue 15. So I just grabbed them all and pulled them out and kept looking and worried about the price later. So, you know, these were 30 cents originally. So I think these were around what, uh, three to four dollars each. Um, so a classic X-Men appearance, John Byrne. Um, and then first appearance of this guy, Sabretooth, which is probably a fine condition book. Um, it's got some spine ticks for sure. Excited to find this book. So I didn't get the Doctor Strange one, which they had in the ad, but I got number two, three, and four. I've always loved this cover, and to get it for you know, three bucks, why not? Uh, they also had this one, which was hopping that week. The news just came out that this was tying into potentially... Uh, some future madness with Dracula and Darkhold. Um, so definitely pick that up. Captain Marvel 4. The lone Captain Marvel I found. Um, Strange Tales 117. This guy asked me, he saw that I was collecting older comics. He found it. He's like, hey, do you want this? It's a 12 center. So I paid, uh, I guess, $8 for that. Um, 12 cents or eight, $8 for a book of that old. Why not? Some uh, first appearance. I think this is uh, uh, first appearances of maybe Piranha uh, in Submariner, and then 72, which I believe is the last issue. Um, and these were picked, they, these were left after someone had looked at a bin. I was surprised. So Freedom Fighters, number one, Power Man, Iron Fist, 50. How about this? Secret Origins of Superheroes, number 17, First Huntress. Champions, Champions, number one. Good Ghost Rider uh, presence there. Manhunter, number one. Howard the Duck, 13, with The Exorcist. Uh, Linda Blair on it. Doc Savage, number one. Not a huge key, but it's a number one issue. Uh, first uh, Marvel and um, contemporary appearance. And then these Ghost Riders, um, I bought, let's see, this is 1 through 34, I believe. Um, I bought 1 through 34 that first day. I just grabbed them all out. I was like, okay, this seems like a good chunk. Um, and then the second day, I went back for the rest. So I have a full run of Bronze Age Ghost Rider. Um, this was one of the early issues I found. And I think someone uh, didn't either didn't get to the box yet or passed on it. It's a really nice condition book. Looks like he may have paid a dollar for it uh, back in the day. But... Um, it's 20 center, so gosh, that might have been like what? Eight. Yeah, I paid eight dollars for that. I couldn't leave that behind, uh, and I couldn't risk it not being there the next day for half off. So, uh, eight dollars for a Ghost Rider number one and two is all right in my book. So, I'm just kind of go through these pretty quickly because it is a full run, but these covers are great. Um, I, I, I've never read this run, I've only had a couple of these issues. I have a graded number one. Uh, I remember paying a hundred dollars for that, uh, and I um, I uh, have the final issue, but none of the in between. So I was excited to to pick these up, and I will definitely read these. This one maybe has a little bit more wear. It's probably the worst I've ever seen of of the rest of the collection, um, which is fine. They're just filler issues, but uh, looking forward to reading these. The orb character you don't see too much of. Ghost Rider versus a shark. How's that working in the water? Son of Satan. Johnny Blaze. Spider-Man appearance. Champions, maybe. Daredevil appearance. Gladiator. The Enforcer. Issue number 23. 
preserved pretty well in their bags there. Again, this guy took care of his collection. So these were 30 cents, so these were cheaper. These were probably $3 issues. Doctor Strange, issue 30, 31, 32, 33, and I love this cover, 34. Nice new stands, but I think that's all they had back then. People completely pass these books. Cherry Pop-Tart, number one. Um, these, these books go for some money. Uh, meant to look a little Archie-esque, but um, they're definitely porny. <laughs> so uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. She's ready. Seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven with 3D glasses, <laughs> and uh, 12. And then there was also a Hulk um, record and book in here I just picked up for the heck of it. Not sure about the collectability, but these things you don't find too often. So those were the bronze and copper that I picked up on day one. Uh, reminder, there's going to be a day two video that I will put out shortly. But uh, now we're going to move into the modern books I picked up that same, that first day. So full run of Weapon X, uh, Marvel Comics Presents. And these books have definitely picked up steam. Uh, I have a full run of my own in the PC. These are nice. These are really nice copies. So um, Barry Windsor Smith artwork, which I am a huge fan of. Wish he would do conventions. Um, this is the early book I picked up in the early days of my collecting. Didn't know what the heck it was about, but I was you know, picking it up mid-series. Classic you know, Wolverine uh, in that Weapon X headgear. 80. Marvel Comic Presents 81. And 82. And 83. And the final issue is 84. Um, they also had... And people passed on these. These were there after someone passed. 117 and 118. And they passed on them because they didn't realize that it's a flip book. It's a flip book that everyone is talking about this issue and this issue. Wolverine versus Venom. Probably Sam, iconic Sam Keith covers. This might be before or right around the same time that um, Venom got his own series. So at the height of his 90s popularity. And these were all $2. So just 50 cents above cover price. Next up was a run of Annihilation. So Annihilation Prologue. We got number one. Beautiful Delato covers. This was an amazing run. This got me back into the Cosmic Heroes. I was always a fan of Silver Surfer. Um, and definitely Thanos and um, Warlock. But this uh, definitely was something that got me back into the early 2000s. Iconic Nova cover, in my opinion. Um, so I was happy to see these. I'm definitely going to reread this series. A book that's really hot right now. Dark Avengers, or Dark Reign, Young Avengers number one, uh, with the first appearance of the new Enchantress that has some speculation with the Loki series. So I bought this for $2. And ironically, I just bought that book not too long ago for about five. Also had a good run of Young Avengers. A lot of these Young Avengers had been stored and bent. And I don't know if it happened that day with people's hunting or not, but so I need to flatten these out. But the Hawkeye one I got, let's see, I'm gonna have to take these down as I show them. Young Avengers special. Number one was missing. Uh, someone might've picked that up, but I got number two, three, four, the full run. <laughs> Five, six, which is also a money book with stature. Again, these all have a little curve to it. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Next up, we got some uh, a, a mishmash of 90s and 2000s goodness. So She-Hulk 1, Newsstand, Doctor Strange 44, first appearance of Sidorak, Mission Impossible 1. I thought this was the error version, but I do not think it is. 
Um, I was surprised to see this in there. Moon Knight 57, uh, the um, iconic Stephen Platt cover. Uh, and then to go nicely with it is this one, uh, the J. Scott Campbell Vengeance of Moon Knight uh, issue, just for the heck of it. New Warriors, number one. Um, they had a full run. I just picked up the first one issue. Um, they had some of X-Men, so I picked up X-Men 4, which is first Omega Red. Hulk 13, the first Devil Hulk. This was just sitting there. Incredible Hulk 92, first Sakaar, uh, Planet Hulk. Um, now, Scar, uh, the uh, What If story, they had that there. I didn't pick it up, and now I'm kicking myself because that book is now a $100 book. I could have had it for two. Um, they did have Predator number one, which was great. Defenders number one, signed by Eric Larson. So why not for two bucks? Uh, let's see. New Avengers 53, Brother Voodoo becomes um, the Sorcerer Supreme. Hulk 418, non-gatefold regular cover. Got some Gen 13 Encore number one. This book, I think, had some steam. I don't know if that's a, a, a rare one or not. I need to look into it. And then I got number one. Uh, so got some Ghost Rider. So Ghost Rider number one from the 90s. And number two. He had almost a full run of that. Uh, so I also picked up sealed versions of Ghost Rider 28 and 31. First appearance of the Midnight Suns. This was just sitting there. Black Panther 1. J. Scott Campbell variant. What the heck? Why was that just sitting there? Someone had looked at that in a bin, and they missed it. Uh, my win. Uh, New Captain Marvel 17, which is the first Philly of L. Guardians of the Galaxy 1 from the, gosh, 2000-something two, series, early 2000 series. Guardians of the Galaxy number 1 from the 1990, or 89 maybe. Um, Infinity Gauntlet 1 was gone, but I got number 2, 3, f 4, these are minty, 5, and 6, we got Incredible Hulk 441, the She-Hulk cover, and because I love Thanos, got me some Prismatic Secret Defenders number 12. So that is the haul. So if you made it this far, thank you. Thank you for watching this haul video. Um, how do you think I did? Uh, I will tell you. So a lot of you are wondering what I paid for this haul. And so what I paid was, which includes tax, for 163 comics. So I am so excited that um, it was a little higher than I wanted, but frankly, I thought I was going to be paying more. I was so excited that um, I was able to find these books. I have a bit of FOMO knowing the books that got swiped when I couldn't get to them, because when you're dealing with so many boxes, there are so many, there's only so much you can do uh, without someone else being right next to you. So they got to it first, they get the book. Um, I got to these books first and, and I got these books. So pretty happy about that. Um, I was pretty happy about what I got on day two. So don't forget to check out that video. If you are new to my channel, hit that bell, uh, subscribe first, Hit that bell so you get notifications uh, and every time I post a video, which is not too much. Um, maybe once every week or so. Uh, I, I try not to inundate the system. But I uh, definitely want to show off the comic hauls that I have. Uh, and thank you all for your support. Uh, definitely one of my top, top comic hauls uh, in the past you know, several years. Just finding an estate sale with this, this many key comics is super, super rare. Uh, a, a definitely a privilege to go through this collection. Super exciting. And the adrenaline was pumping. I just could not believe I was finding these books. So again, thanks again for watching. Be sure to check out some of my other videos that are going to be popping up on the screen and stay tuned for part two, day two of Estate Sale Con. Take care.